Coal, oil and gas prices have skyrocketed internationally. I believe we might not have seen the worst of it yet. Russia's war on Ukraine and the COVID pandemic have disrupted energy supplies. But with any crisis comes opportunity. Unlike 70s, we have now readily available clean energy technologies which are proven to be cheap. Shall we do it, Madam Secretary? We shall. Australia and the United States have signed a deal to work together on clean energy tech to help cut emissions and develop new jobs, but also to be more self-reliant. I worry that China has big-footed a lot of the technology and supply chains that could end up making us vulnerable if we don't develop our own supply chains. China controls much of the world's supply of critical minerals used in batteries and electric vehicles. It also makes 80% of the world's solar panels. We want to make sure that we are not, as nations, under the thumb of petrodictators. To counter that, Australia's joined an international partnership to create a separate supply chain of critical minerals from extraction to processing. Australia has been embraced as a global ally on clean technology and climate action. The Albanese government's more ambitious 43% emissions reduction target for 2030 has revitalised Australia's reputation internationally. I think it's an exciting contribution by Australia. I have no doubt that this new government is very bullish on being able to achieve that and potentially more. It's not clear if Parliament will give the new target the tick of approval. A Senate battle is likely, but ultimately won't matter, given it's already lodged under the Paris Agreement. Melissa Clark, ABC News, Canberra.